Hello my loves, how you doing? If you're here, you've probably watched the how to make Swahili Bajia video. If you haven't, you need to rush there and come back because that Bajia is what is normally served with this ukwaju. So we're just going to soak the ukwaju or tamarind for an hour into in hot water. Then we're going to use our hands to slowly squeeze out all the juice from the tamarind and then we're going to separate the juice of course from all the seeds and every other thing that is inside there. I'm going to use my hand that way I'm not going to, to waste any juice okay because no wastage here. there you go that's how we have separated it so what is remaining you can use it again somewhere else we're going to mash one clove of garlic and then you're going to sprinkle some onions into the tamarind or ukwajo so now we're going to add in the garlic the onions and then you're going to sprinkle in some salt the garlic and the onions it is to add the flavor into the ukwaju And just like that, we have our ukwaju ready to be served with the Swahili bajia. You can have this with fries, you can have this with viazikarai. That is what we call in Nairobi bajia the viazikarai. So it can be served with practically anything. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Bye bye.